Washington High School is a building that has been in this neighborhood for almost 100 years and as a high school it was a very vital part of the Central East Side and for it to have been closed for well over 20 years kind of left a hole in the, in the center of this neighborhood. The building is an icon. It's 90 plus years old now. It's had a tremendous history in the community itself. I've never been involved in a project. I've been doing this 25 years where I've had so much interaction with the public on what this building meant to them. I actually went to high school here, so it's really been pretty special for me to come back here and be able to turn this old building, which was on the verge of being demolished, into what's going to be a gem of the neighborhood. The story about this project is it was built in 1925. It replaced a building, the original Washington High School that had burned down in 1923. 60, 70 years of vibrant life in the community closed in 1981. Multiple developers were brought in and actually looked at buying the building from Portland Public Schools. Our client, Art DeMuro, with Venable Properties, due to his history, his, his love, his, his, his record of success with historic buildings, um, he quickly rose to the forefront. My best friend and business partner, Art DeMuro, and I worked together for almost 20 years. We worked hand in hand on the acquisition of this property. When this building came, you could just, you could see and feel the passion that Art had, and unfortunately Art passed away very suddenly in September of 2012. I made a promise to Art that we were going to save this building, and it means a lot. It's a tribute to Art DeMiro. He had it teed up to do, and unfortunately he left us early. The last thing I said to him was, I promise you I will help Venerable make Washington High School happen. We're building it for Art. It's, it's more than just a project, by all means. One of the things I think that's really wonderful about this project is the fact that for a long time the building was laying in waste and it's a beautiful building and to just see it start to crumble away and fall out of the fabric of the city was so unfortunate. Historic buildings are kind of an animal within themselves. You've got to think on your feet every time you open a wall you find something different. Craftsmanship plays a key role where you're saving a piece of history. We are passionate about historic preservation. Bremick Construction has done a number of renovation projects. It's something I personally care a lot about. Um, my educational background is in architecture and historic preservation, and it's been fantastic to be able to implement it on a project like this. So we spent a lot of time trying to understand the existing building. One of the wonderful opportunities when you work with a historic structure is to find those moments that are unique, that you couldn't recreate if you were building something new. So we spent a lot of time immersing ourselves in the actual work that was here previously and what we could extract from its life as a school and bring forward. So to preserve a lot of those elements uh, became a very big feature of the renovation. Behind me there are old original blackboards, the original auditorium seats from when the that term was opened in 1927, were preserved and restored. The trophy case is full of interesting memorabilia, trophies, pictures of uh, 1952 Rose Festival Queen. New Seasons chose this uh, location for its store support headquarters uh, because we're all about uh, reusing, recycling, and replacing. We're actually a zero waste company, and so when we saw Washington High School uh, be a, being available, for a store support headquarters, it made all the sense to us in the world to be in a building like this. Another connection for New Seasons into this building is the whole aspect of education. How many students have been through these halls in this building, one can only guess. Um, but that also caught our eye as a good connection for New Seasons Market. This building is housing quite a number of businesses, not just New Seasons Markets. We're the largest tenant here. We occupy a part of the third floor and all of the fourth floor. The future of this building, along with Revolution Hall, is going to be amazing in terms of a mix of tenant uses. There's creative people, there's attorneys, there's New Seasons Markets, and the venue, really the heart of the building being Revolution Hall, Several hundred people now in the building, livening the neighborhood, uh, filling the restaurants. So it's really revitalized uh, the neighborhood. And knowing uh, the rich history of this building, I mean, you just, you just knew it was going to be great. It's so important to save these buildings because they'll never be built back. It, it's an important part of our history. 
you know, buildings last longer than people. And you can look back in time and people can see the 1920s, 30s, 50s here. We've taken an old building that um, kind of took our careful hand and uh, it's kind of neat to kind of step back and realize that I guess we're now part of uh, the history of Portland. This tough, challenging building that is now, again, a great gift to the city, that's art. You know, if I was able to walk down these halls with him now, it would be, it would be just so art. A little bit of quirk, um, some fine touches, uh, quality everywhere, that's art. I have no doubt that this building is one of art's finest legacy projects. It is a fine epilogue to the book of his life.